Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, we're going to be doing some fun kettlebell work. So I did one before and you guys really liked it and now it's even more important than ever <laughs> uh, for training at home. It's probably one of the best, you know, I'm so happy that I started training with kettlebells because I have one at home now and it's just probably one of the best investments I've made. So try and get one if you can. Um, this time I'm going to do it slightly different. So I'm going to do a lot of the exercises. I'm going to give you two options. I'm going to give you option one to just do singles because I don't know everyone has two kettlebells at home. And I'm going to give you an option to do doubles as well. And always, I'm going to give you the reps, sets, tempo, everything. Not tempo because this is a kettlebell workout. Not a dumbbell or bodybuilding. I'm so used to saying that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be another fun one. So I'm going to give you a warm up, which uh, I'm going to run through quickly with you guys. So the first one is going to be a Tabata style workout, 20 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So we're going to start with, start with Russian uh, kettlebell swings for 20 seconds, put it down 20 seconds rest. And then we're going to go on to kettlebell cleans. We're going to do the full 20 seconds on one side and then rest. And then we'll do another 20 seconds on the other side, rest. And then we're going to do single snatches singles to kettlebell snatches, 20 seconds on one side, rest 20 seconds on the other side, and then we'll rest again, and we'll finish with some kettlebell squat jumps. Now, if you find it uncomfortable to do squat jumps, or you can't do that if you're training in your apartment and you know, you've got neighbors downstairs, uh, just do goblet squats with the kettlebell, that's absolutely fine. You can do goblet squats, or you can do sumo kettlebell as well. Um, that's also a very good option as well. twice so you do every single one of the exercise and repeat it twice and then rest for about two minutes you can change that to three you can change that to one minute if you want and repeat that three times so three times in total three rounds two minute rest in between each round it is uh, one of those workouts that is deceptively looks easy but actually it sucks kettlebell swings Anything with Kess World I've learned would always suck. So don't expect it to be fun. Now, I have kind of demoed a lot of the movements in my other Kess videos, but 
I'll do it quickly because I know a lot of you will be asking questions, especially when it comes to the cleans and the snatches. Uh, first of all, if you're wondering, I'm using a 28 kilo for this exercise. Um, normally I use a 32, um, so whichever you prefer. But for the cleans, cleans, you want a nice uh, loose grip on the kettlebell. So if this is too stiff, you might have a bit of a problem. So with cleans, okay, when you come up, nice and soft and rest it on your chest and here. So it's not up here, it's resting down there. Rest it, similar to a, well if you do a, don't do Olympic clean, <laughs> Olympic clean you will know. Fast elbows, okay? Up, catch. And you want to catch it on your chest and rest, okay? A nice loose grip on the kettlebells. Um, I remember I said this in my other video, but I kind of said it the wrong way around. So you want a loose grip, so you want the handle to be able to move quite easily so that you can catch that. Okay, just interrupting this video to give a shout out to my sponsor. You guys know them by now. They are sponsoring me and this is a paid partnership so I just want to make sure that I'm transparent about it but I've been using Woot for a long time. You guys have seen me wear this all the time anyway so I don't even have to tell you that I use it. Uh, it's more than just a fitness tracker so I use it for sleep, to track my sleep which is uh, not the best at the moment. Uh, recovery because it measures your HRV which shows you your recovery rate. And what's great about this app is it shows you how much recovery you have and how much strain you should aim for for uh, that's optimal for the day. So if you're under recovered, obviously you need to rest. And if you're on the green, which is like uh, <laughs> like the lottery for me sometimes being in the green, and that means you're optimal to train, that means your recovery, your HRV is actually pretty good for that day. So it's a good way to track and monitor how well you're recovering. Uh, you know, throughout that day. And a lot of things that affect that is hydration. So that's the number one thing I've re realized is I need to drink a hell of a lot more water um, to help with recovery. And if you don't sleep well, your recovery is shocking. And that could also lead to overtraining and injury. So this is a great way to track that. So make sure you check them out. I'll put a link in my description. If you use my code OB, you get a nice discount um, when you sign up. So let's get back to the video. Okay. For the snatches, when you come up, you want the kettlebell, you want to almost catch that kettlebell before you get up to the top. So it's actually a smooth transition, even though it looks like I'm doing it really quick and it's slamming onto my wrist, it actually is not doing that. Okay, so a nice loose grip on the kettlebell, up and catch. Catch, catch, so it's not actually slamming onto my wrist, it's a nice landing onto my wrist, so a lot of times people think, especially when it gets heavier, this is when it becomes tricky, so if you have a lighter kettlebell, practice with that, but you do not want it to slam on your wrist. That's why a lot of people get wrist pain. Ah, okay, part two. Oh God. <laughs> um, part two is a kettlebell complex with double unders. If you can't do double unders, do singles or do high knees. And then for the complex, as you can see, it's goblet squats, three goblet squats, three Russian swings, three clean to overhead press, and reverse lunges, three reverse lunges. Put it down and do the same thing on the other side.
So that counts as one round. We're doing six rounds of those. So you can, after each round, rest um, about 60 seconds if you want to. Do that, six rounds, done. Okay? Nice and simple, nothing too complicated. Sometimes you want to keep it nice and simple, uh, but it's uh, a very, very, very good workout. It's an awesome full body workout because you're using absolutely everything. That's what I love about the Kessel Girls. It's a core, legs, upper body. As you can see, you need a lot of shoulders. Your lats as well, believe it or not. So uh, yeah, that is part two. Um, in terms of if you struggle to do the cleans into overhead, if you don't like doing the cleans, take the cleans off and just do an overhead press instead. So an alternative will be goblet squats, swings, shoulder to overhead, and lunges as well, overhead lunges. Again, if you struggle with overhead lunges, front rack carries, uh, front rack lunges is absolutely fine as well. Okay, so um, as you can see in the video. This is um, a slightly longer one, this, this workout. So we have Kettlebell swings, 10 swings into 10 burpees. The swings are American this time. American swings into 10 death drops, aka burpees. And then we have Kettlebell thrusters, 10 thrusters into 10 death drops. And then we have 10 double snatches and we have 10 death drops as well. Yes, there's a lot of them. So yeah, this is going to be uh, another fun workout. So what you would do is you have, I would say three minute rest. However, you can do it two minutes if you want to, and then repeat the whole thing all over again. As always, you can do these with single arm if you wanted to. So when you're doing the single arm uh, thrusters, you can do uh, either five on each side, or you can do 10 on one side, and then when you rest and you do the second round, you can do 10 on the other side, just to balance it out. And with the snatches, again, the same thing. You can break it up by fives on each side, or you can do the whole 10 on one side, the other round, you do 10 on the other side. So you're doing three rounds of this. So do one round, one round with the whole entire um, exercise uh, list on there. And then you would rest, and then you go into the second round, rest, third round. To make this more, interesting and it's slightly more difficult you have two things you can a take the reps up every round so if you start with 10 on each the next round you can go up by two and then do two 12 reps on every single one the next round you do 14 reps or you can shorten the rest so what you can do is the first round you do two minute rest second round you take 20 minutes 20 seconds off that rest time and then the, before you go into the second one and then take another 20 seconds off the rest period go into the third one. So basically you're shortening the rest which would make this really horrible. So there's so many ways you can progress exercises, you can progress workouts. Just because you're using a kettlebell, it doesn't mean you can't do the same. The same thing you do for bodybuilding is the same method you should apply when doing conditioning. If you want to push yourself that bit more harder, if you want to challenge yourself a bit more, even when you're under fatigue, even when you're tired, but mentally you want to challenge yourself, try and add that extra rep here or there, or try and shorten the rest, just to give yourself that bit more of a challenge when doing the, the workouts. Thank you for watching. Peace out.